this short video will hopefully help people who um, may struggle or just not be aware of free programs that you can download and use to scan your computer to help remove things like malware and unwanted pop-ups advertising things like things that everybody comes across on the internet um, it is also quite effective at re removing the um, what are known as rogue antivirus programs or just basically fake antivirus programs that many many people are still experiencing even now um, the process is 100% free and as long as you've got internet access that's actually working then you, you can download this program install it and scan your computer with it so here we go I'm using Google Chrome browser and I'm going to search Google UK or google.com it doesn't matter and what we're looking for is malware bytes anti malware now as you can see malware bytes website is at the top of the list the URL is correct malwarebytes.org it's always worth checking the web address before you before you click and, and go to the site because there are fake sites that, that are there to mislead you and you end up downloading the wrong software which can be full of adwords uh, ad adware and whatever itself so one click takes us through to the Malwarebytes website and it's very straightforward big orange button that you can't miss free version download click on that and it should be an automatic download that starts momentarily and as it says on the screen if it doesn't start which it doesn't look like it's going to we can click the download now button and you can see in the bottom left corner of the screen it's downloading the setup file which is 16 and a half megabytes in size and won't take it very long at all so the download is now finished and once the icon has turned into the little exe icon which it has now one click brings up the run box do you want to run this file yes you do because we know it's the one that we've just downloaded so click run and you get your user account control asking for permission to run the program so click on yes and you will get your setup box and what I'm going to do now I'm going to actually minimize Google Chrome so that we can see clearly what what's actually going on so select your language of choice which mine is English click the OK button and we get the malware bytes setup wizard quite straightforward click the next button and you're greeted with a license agreement which um, theoretically you, you are supposed to read but I've I don't know anybody that actually 
ever reads them. Click on I accept the agreement, which will allow you then to click the next button. And again, you're greeted with some notes about bug fixes and update, what the updates contain, etc. So click next again. And you're now asked for a location. Now for most of you, this default location here will be perfectly adequate. Um, C program files is is the sort of standard location for most software. So click on next again and it gives you instructions telling you that it's going to create shortcuts for the in the start menu folder so that you can actually find the program when you go to the start button. If you don't want it to do that there is an option here but why you wouldn't want to start menu folder I don't know. Click on the next button and it will tell you that it's going to create a desktop icon for you. Again, if you don't want that, just remove the tick from the box. Click on next and it basically gives you a review of the settings that you've just chosen. And Click on install. And it's quite a quick install for malware bytes. Now you do have a choice to enable the free trial of the premium product, which lasts, I don't know, it's either 20 or 30 days. And basically what the premium product does is, you, I think you get more frequent updates and it provides what they call real-time protection, which means it runs all the time when your computer's on it's protecting your computer whereas the free version only provides protection when you actually start it up and do a scan manually um, if your machine's in a state where it's infected and you need to get it back to a state of normality then Personally, I, I would say don't. To, I would say disable the trial, uh, and then when you click finish, it's going to launch the program for you. So we'll go ahead and do that. Malware bytes anti malware tells you that you've never done a scan, that you're using the free version, the database version. Now you can click update, but it's already done the updates in this case. And as I explained before, real time protection is disabled because it's only available with Malwarebytes premium product. And again, you, you do have the option here to actually enable the trial if you wish to do so. But the main thing, if you're dealing with a machine that, that you suspect has been infected, you don't really need to, to go into these options. And all you would do is click fix now. Um, as you can see, the program checks for updates. Uh, and then it will start to run um, a scan of your machine. Now the, the default settings for the program are pretty thorough because they, they know from experience which sections of your computer are the most likely to be affected by um, Adware and, and viruses, etc. 
and as you can see it's done four steps of the process already now obviously I can't sit here and, and talk while the scan is done it could take 15 20 30 minutes so what I'm going to do is actually pause the recording and we'll come back to it after the scan has finished and I'll show you what what the interface looks like when a scan has been completed right so the scans finished and as you can see it's listing that it's detected items on this this particular machine now if you scroll down the list you can actually see it tells you the name of the the item it's detected where it is what action it recommends and this is the full um, actual location the, the path on your computer now what you can do if you can't see the whole thing is grab the edge of the box and just make the window slightly wider and you can see the full path to the files that it's saying you should be concerned about now actually looking at these myself I don't see these as a threat and anti-malware doesn't see them as too much of a threat because it's classified them as what's commonly known as a pup or a, a potentially unwanted program and your options are it recommends quarantine but you can actually choose to ignore or add an exclusion so that it doesn't rescan and redetect it as the same thing next time now personally uh, looking at what it's actually detected I'm, I'm not too worried about those so personally I would normally I would leave those but for the video I'm going to say it's it's applied quarantine recommendation to all of them so I'm going to click apply actions and as you can see very quickly it's quarantined all those files um, you do have an option to view uh, a log file which has all the details of the scan on it but rarely that it's very rare that you have to look at that to be honest so that is basically it now obviously if you had a machine that had more threatening um, items found on it the program would in this in this co um, column here would actually tell you that it was a more serious threat and it would be emphasized um, and you would still go through the removal process using the same button which would say apply actions so that's a basic introduction to the malware bytes free anti-malware software and I hope it's been helpful as you can see in the bottom corner here when it finished the scan it actually gives you a little pop-up box saying that the scan is complete and it's found files that are non malware which is the potentially unwanted programs which we've talked about so once it's finished you can click the X and close the program down and the program will be shut down completely 
Now, if, you, if you've got, if you've chosen to, to buy the premium product, it will continue to offer protection and run in the background. Um, okay, hope you found this helpful. Um, and any constructive comments to help me help you uh, would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much.